Starting a print-on-demand business these days is super overwhelming, especially in 2025. We're talking tools that are simple, affordable, and will help you get to selling faster. Hi there, I'm Ashley with Creative Fabrica. Today, we're going over my top recommended tools to get your print-on-demand business kicked off with confidence. That's whether you're making low content books on Amazon KDP, t-shirts on Etsy, or selling digital products on your very own website. First up is the Creative Fabrica website. The full print-on-demand license is what makes this the perfect place for all assets that you're going to need for your print-on-demand business. Whether that means Amazon KDP, coloring books, different types of graphics for t-shirts or backpacks, leggings, socks, you name it, they have it. And literally all of it is ready for commercial use and not just commercial license, but print on demand commercial license, which is different. If you get overwhelmed starting from scratch or if you're just not an artist, this is where you go to get assets, okay? That way you can download them, tweak them, add to them, make them perfect perfect for your specific niche and you're ready to go. No worries, it's just so easy. And with all of the different thousands, literally thousands of bundles of graphics and fonts and interiors and covers and all the different things, you literally cannot go wrong. It has been years now that I have been using the Creative Fabrica website. And let me tell you, I have never, not one time, not found what I was looking for. That says a lot. Tool number two is for the Amazon KDP people out there, and this is BookBolt. I've tried a lot of different platforms, and of course, Creative Fabrica website has amazing interiors and all the things to make an amazing type of book. But BookBolt has so many different features built into it from keyword research to spying on your competition and seeing where their books rank amongst other KDP sellers. It's literally incredible. Of course, there's also templates and different ways that you can put different things together. They also have a design platform in there. So realistically, BookBolt, when it comes to KDP, is probably the number one tool. And if you're a beginner on KDP, it takes all of that guesswork away. It does all the research for you. It kind of just puts everything you need in one place, tied up with a neat little bow and just packaged perfectly for you. You can find your niche and everything that you need to know for research purposes on BookBolt, and then you can download all the specific assets that you need for that niche from Creative Fabrica, put it all together back in either studio or in BookBolt, and you're already producing a high quality book that fast. The next tool I wanna share is one of my faves, and that is Studio. Studio is the software, the design software, that is built into our Creative Fabrica website. And it is so nice because it's so great when you can just have everything all in one place. You just use the design platform that's built in and it's already ready to go and built with a ton of different templates that you can use for t-shirts, stickers, posters, so many different things. Um, and you can also use all of the elements that are in there. One of my favorite things to use this for is digital paper or a repeat pattern. So if you are creating a design for a backpack or a tote bag or an all over print t-shirt design or dress, laptop skins, phone covers, like all these different types of things do really well when you have a repeat pattern. So one of my absolute favorite features in Studio is the repeat background feature. Studio is a huge game changer. I also love the ability to maneuver text. So you can make it rounded or you can have it go or the super trendy wave pattern. So there's a lot of different things you can do within Studio that will make your job so much easier. You can also upload templates that you have found on the website. So if you have a mock-up, you can upload those mock-ups. Uh, if there is a specific template that you can use, even with KDP, you can also upload the templates for the books into Studio, into Studio, and then you can create your design perfectly and you'll know that it'll perfectly fit. That works for the interiors and the covers. Studio is a huge game changer and like I said, one of my favorites because it's already built in to the website that you're already visiting. So it just makes it so convenient. 
The next tool is Printify. If you've never heard of Printify, Printify is a production company, essentially. This is a place that basically creates all of the different merchandise. So while you might create the design, then you're going to put it on merch, right? You're going to put it on a mug or a glass, a tumbler, a shirt, tote bag, et cetera. And you need a company that's going to be doing that for you. And Printify is one of the absolute best. Printify is one of the most widely used platforms and they can connect to your Etsy store, your Shopify store, or tons of other different integrations depending on what you're using. And they handle all of the shipping and all of the printing of the item. So you don't have to worry about any packaging or anything. All you have to do is design and put it on and that's it. That's all you have to do. And depending on what website you're using, you might not even have to deal with your customer service either. You go into Printify, you'll upload it, and then that will go to your connected store automatically. So really, really easy. And when you're pairing Creative Fabrica's asset library to Printify's library and catalog of all of the different products that they offer on there, which is so many, it's amazing. You seriously have just the perfect combination for a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful store and beautiful products. Next tool is kind of tools, I guess you could say, because there's really not one specific tool I can mention in this because it depends on the platform. So the next ones are for keyword research and trend data. As a beginner, you have to get really familiar with research, 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 research. You can't just have an idea and then put it out there. You gotta research and it's gotta be backed by solid research, showing that there is a demand, showing that what you are creating is going to sell. There's gotta be proof in the pudding before you put it on there, okay? For a free help, you can check out Etsy Hunt, Google Trends, you can check out Pinterest, um, gosh, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do really good trend research. And then there's also some paid ones. And that, again, really depends on what you're doing. So if I was doing Etsy and an integration with like Printify, I would use probably Everbee, um, Allura, which is another really good one. There's also Sale Samurai. There's there's a lot of different ones, but I would say my very top one is Everbee. It's just really easy to use and it integrates perfectly. And then once you find a niche that is trending, let's say it's fall shirts, then all you have to do is go to Creative Fabrica, put in the search bar fall shirts or fall t-shirt designs, fall graphics, um, et cetera, something like that. If it's maybe, let's say, a watercolor style that's also trendy, you can type in fall watercolor PNG, and then you can look at all the different assets that have to do with each niche. So you'll wanna do that with every single trending style or trending niche that pops up. You'll want to kind of back that with going to Creative Fabrica, finding some assets, making sure that you have enough to work with, which I can't imagine you not, but you'll wanna make sure that you're able to do that as well. And when you put all this together, it makes it to where you're not just creating for the sake of creating, you know, throwing something at the wall and seeing if it sticks. You're creating something that is proven to sell, proven to be trending. So people are way more likely to purchase. And lastly, for tools, similar to the last one where it was trends and keywords, this time we're talking about mock-up tools. So there isn't just one, again, because it really depends on what you're looking for. But some of my favorites are Placeit. Uh, there are a lot of great mock-ups on Placeit and their monthly fee is really low. They do have a lot in their free section, but I do notice that when I went up to the paid plan, I think it was like $7.99, there was a whole lot more that opened up, especially in the video section, which is really cool, especially for Etsy because those videos make a huge difference in your search. Tools that I have mentioned, give them a try. You'll, you'll know which ones kind of flow. I've tried so many. These these are just my favorites and you don't even need all of these, but I think there's a great starting point. You know, you might find that you'd rather just stick with Creative Fabrica. It's just one platform. You have all of everything you're gonna need there. Then you can pull into Studio, which is also there. You can use the AI Flow, which is also there. You can create your own fonts there. So when it comes to an all-in-one website, definitely Creative Fabrica. Uh, either way, I wanna know. So comment down below what tool you're either using now that you love, 
or what tool you're excited to try out. So I can't wait to hear from you guys. We love hearing and reading all of your comments. If you'd like to get started with 10 free downloads from Creative Fabrica, click the link in the description box below to start your free trial and get 10 free downloads. Go for the bundles, they're the best deal. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you get notified every single time we post a video. Well, we'll see you guys in the next one.